Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have a Mortem in the tier 8 German premium lightly armored medium tank. It is the Kampanzer 07 RH. Um, so Mortem is going to go with <coughs> Bounty, uh, Rammer, Bounty Aiming and a Bounty Vents. So like a very, very, you know, expensive, I guess, <laughs> no doubt. With the premium consumable, with a chunky amount of gold, even though I, d I don't think you actually need a lot of gold in this sort of matchup. Uh, but yeah, Morton is going to show you exactly why this vehicle is just deadly. It kind of reminds me of the uh, the tier 8 Czech tank destroyer, the TVP, like I call it. Um, it has amazing shell variety, AP rounds with 200 damage, 205 pen, pretty decent for a medium, heat rounds with 255. Pen and 200 damage, but the HE, the HE is where it's at with 90 millimeters of pen and 920, not 320, sorry, damage on average. And when you have this rate of fire and you can pen this HE rounds, it is just insane amounts of damage. It's the highest DPM of any tier 8 vehicle in the game if you pen those HE rounds. If you go with the regular rounds, I think it's kind of like second, maybe third. Um, of any vehicle behind the Panther 2 and the Panther 88, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, DPM, extreme, speed, extreme as well, with a top speed of 65 kilometers an hour. And when you can just do this with the Rage rounds against the same tier medium, it, it's it's just crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. You can pen that vehicle easily. Go maybe with H into the VK and finish him off and again with the AP over here against the tier 6. Um, the German or light tank, the VK 28. 1105 so yeah this vehicle it's like extreme dpm amazing speed it doesn't have good camo though like 14 ish is the base definitely not the sneakiest of vehicles um doesn't have any armor like don't don't expect to bounce anything even though the turret is rounded the chances of you actually bouncing stuff is is pretty low i wouldn't count on the armor to do anything but, like, the whole point of this vehicle is to catch vehicles outright, enemy vehicles, out in the open, use the DPM, and maybe rush a vehicle and try to just do circles around a chunky boy. Use that amazing DPM. I actually did that once before against the T95, where I got behind the T95. I just fired HE into the backside, and it just melts. It just melts vehicles. And there we go, to, though, not into the FSV. Uh, maybe this time, there we go, another shell into the FSV, and you can just see how crazy this reload is. It's just insane stuff. Like, four, maybe, second reload over here, four and a half, I guess, for that 200 damage. It's just crazy for a tier 8 medium, and Mortem is just showing you exactly how to play this vehicle. Put a shell in, and fall back, there we go. And Shellin and fall back. Probably the shell actually hit the side of the T-43 with the heat. is not going to go through that spaced armor. But through the Type 59 side definitely is going to go through. Oh my goodness, don't get Amorakt here. You don't want that. You don't want that. Amorak is what you need over here. I actually don't really think you should fire heat over here. I believe that HE into that FSV is better. Or AP. Right? Heat is definitely not the way to go in this type of situation. But it is understandable trying to get the damage out quickly. Don't want... Where's the, the artillery shell? <laughs> My goodness. Don't want to take any damage in return. From the Type 59, from the T-43. Like the T-43 doesn't go through. Putting another one to the Type 59. And actually, heat going through the tracks is... This is not going to happen as often. Right? Because tracks are spaced armor. Heat doesn't like spaced armor. But I think the T-43 does get shot down. Now it's the VK-2801. 105 pushing forwards can shut down this tier 6 German light tank. Here it is getting the kill. And that's actually really good. If you went after the Borsig, the VK, you can do a lot of damage to that tier 8 tank destroyer. Because the VK just has that chunky 105mm gun, derpy gun, that can do a lot of damage to lightly armored vehicles. There you go, trying to go after this T29. 7032 in the side. Can't actually connect, unfortunately. But my goodness, this game, this game just doesn't stop. Up to 3,000 damage, 4 kills so far into this battle. And it's a very close game. Down by one vehicle, down by 1,500 HP. What is Mortem going to do over here? Trying to find the angle against the T29, against the 7032. Maybe it's time to go forwards. 
Maybe it's time to get stuck in. Use the mobility, use the DPM to support your teammates. Unfortunately, the Borsig falls to the IC-152K. A very dangerous uh, tier rate premium tank destroy with that 750 alpha damage, which is just crazy. It's just crazy. Karu, can I put one into the DNC? is actually not over here. That's a me. I was sure it was over there as well. Need to get behind the bush. There we go. Don't get spotted. Unfortunately, the T29 with good reactions falling back. Not getting hit, but there's a 7032. Can I finish off the 7032 into the side of the vehicle? Actually, doesn't go through the side of the 7032. <coughs> Apologies, lucky the Caro is able to finish off that 7032. My goodness, this game. This game, so much stuff happening that I can't breathe anymore. Oh no. Whew, okay. Okay. So, Mortem, going towards the Effie, switch to an HE round, actually not switching. I would have loved to see a lovely intuition switch, but two shells into the FV and Donald Duck in the FV on the enemy team is uh, dead, dead, dead. Uh, actually going with an HE round right now into the backside of the T29, interesting choice. Interesting choice, I don't think the second one actually went through, but maybe it did because he just came back on 27 HP. An HE round over here, into the side, you can't pin. You can't pin, just go with it. There we go, the lovely intuition switch, and the T29 is shot down. Six kills. 3,800 damage. Absolutely lovely so far, but the game is far from over. 11-9 in favor of the enemy team, down by 1,800 HP. What is Mortem going to do? Finally pushing towards the city. Going to support their allies. Going to see if they can finish off the M6. Which is, in my opinion, the best D6 vehicle at the moment. It's just crazy. It is a just crazy vehicle. They do need to watch out from that M6. But when you can catch it, I don't even think you can't catch the backside of the M6. Another one into the backside. There we go. This one wasn't HE though. Uh, I would have loved to see HE once again. You no, know, maybe you can get that M6 in two chances instead of taking a hit over here. But the M6 actually doesn't fire, and there we go. The HR did go through. Eventually finishing off the M6. Unfortunately, getting hit by the Range 155.50, the tier 7 French artillery for 300 damage and there's the ISU. There's the ISU, the way the high roll can actually one shot Mortem over here. That is definitely not what we want. I'm trying to be cheeky, trying to flank around. Intuition switch to go after the ISU with AP rounds instead of the HE. There's the ISU, luckily the shot goes in. My goodness, that was a close one. And that's just a Scorpion, Cromwell, Achilles and the artillery against Mortem. With the little friend, the FV-304. There's the Cromwell. There it is, the Cromwell's actually running away. There's someone in the cap. Is it the Scorpion? Is it the Achilles? We do not know. Switching to energy round to go after the Cromwell. And catching the Cromwell at the backside. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. 343 damage with a clutch into the backside of the Cromwell. Now down to 216 HP. Going with an AP round to try and finish off the Cromwell. There it is. And 9 kills, 4,900 damage in this battle so far. So far. Of course, they did have someone inside the cap circle, and then they left. Who is that? It is the Scorpion, who is just caught out, and luckily, the HE round does enough damage to finish them off. And now it is Mortem, and their little FV friend against the Achilles and the 155.50, that tier 7 French artillery that hit us earlier for 308 damage. Whew, let me breathe. Let me breathe, Mortem. My goodness. My goodness, just non-stop action in the past, what was it, two minutes or something. Ten kills, five thousand damage in this battle so far. Trying after the Achilles first, leaving the arty. But there's the Achilles towards the left. My goodness, there it is. Can get to this back. Then the side of the Achilles with one HR. We need a slight high roll. Slight high roll doesn't get the high roll, but the third shell is enough to finish off the Achilles. 11 kills, 5,659 damage, and now it's only the enemy, 15550. That is the remaining. Can we get some revenge? Can we get the Pascucci's uh, medal, you know, for the, the FV kill earlier with the 15550? Where is that cheeky French artillery? Oh, you still need a slight high roll, right? To finish them off with nature, and there we go. One into the 15550. No, no high roll, unfortunately. So just put another one. Did you stop and aim? Just stop and aim. Oh my goodness, is the 15550 going to run away? One into did no that is it as well. Oh no. One now. Yes. <laughs> and he misses it. The, the little turret flick. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no, my goodness. Can't catch that very cheeky and sneaky. French artillery, where is it? Trying to run away. Stop. Aim. Aim. Fire. <laughs> Don't miss again. No. One more. Yes, there we go. There we go. There it is. The 12th kill. The 6,000 damage round with the Kampanzer 07 RH, which has just crazy DPM. Then you saw it showcased over here. Amazing game by Mortem. Like I said, 12 kill, 6k damage is always nice. I would have loved to see some more HE rounds, right? Some intuition switches um, against light tanks, against artilleries earlier. But overall, lovely game by Mortem. GG, well played. Yeah, th that is that is pretty much it. Let's go and check the post-game stats, I guess. There we go. Ace tanker, of course, for the 1941 base experience over here. Actually getting the second mark of excellence, so congrats on that, Mortem. GG's getting your second mark of excellence on the Campanza 07. The past Gucci's medal for finishing off the FE304 and the 15550 over here. A Pulse medal for 12 kills done over here. High caliber for 6524 damage. So there were actually a few uh, blind shots that we did not see. Top gun, of course, for kind of like two top guns, right? 12 kills. I believe that Mortem should get another <laughs> top gun for this. But yeah, a lot of damage. Did all of the kills, all of the XP. Our Mortems, 50 shells fired, 37 hit, 31 penetrated, uh, 6,524 damage, 2,448 from a distance of more than 300 meters, 4 hits received, and only 2 penned, <coughs> which is actually rather uh, surprising, even though one of them was artillery, so it does make sense, but you didn't really expect to bounce anything with this vehicle, so getting a non-penetration is always nice. And one vehicle spotted, 14 and new vehicles damaged, so it's like every single vehicle except for one. Except for one vehicle. Twelve of those were destroyed by Mortem. 600 damage caused with his assistance. Driving for five kilometers in this battle, in this almost 10 minute battle. And yeah, getting a lovely profit as well. It is a premium vehicle after all, almost 100,000 credits for this battle is always nice. But yeah. GG, well played, Mortem. Lovely game with the very lovely Kampanz 07R Rage, one of my favorite vehicles to play because of the speed, because of the shell variety, the DPM. It's just like exactly my playstyle. So amazing game by Mortem. GG, well played. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you think of the Kampanz 07R Rage? You think it's too good, maybe? Think it is good as is, maybe not good enough, needs a, a slight buff, maybe? Let me know. Your thoughts, your opinions in the comments are down below. And yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one, people.